All right, this is where I mounted my parachute deployment on the Axum. About the only place available is at the very tail end. Now, this in and of itself is, of course, a little problematic because this plane is already on the uh, side of being tail heavy. So, I, I found actually it didn't really mess up with the dynamics of the plane much. Um, and uh, thanks to Ed, by the way, this is an excellent design you came up with. I, I really like the way it works. It functioned flawlessly. Um, the, um, but like I was saying, since this plane is by design already a little bit tail heavy, um, definitely stick to the smaller parachute guys. And in fact, my first successful deployment was um, this guy. And again, thanks to Ed for sharing how to make your parachutes. I've already got three of them mocked up. This is not exactly like the um, uh, jacket liner material, but while we were in the uh, fabric shop, we found it. Well, my wife actually found it. It's 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 very very similar to that polyester slash nylon, very thin, very slick kind of material. So I figured, what the heck, give that a shot. So made. 119 inch and 120 inch with this and then found my little uh, kamikaze jumpers at the uh, 99 cent store and what's funny is you know 99 cent china toys while they <laughs> they 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 give you all the detail on the front poor guy had no back this entire section was hollow but that worked out to my advantage because this is a pretty light piece of plastic and what that allowed me to do is I actually took about there's probably an additional 14 grams of weight of lead that I put in here and then just fill it in with glue so he has a spine of lead and uh, just attached him to the lanyard and this combination right here uh, now while I haven't weighed it yet was actually worked out really well I, I flew this guy on the accent and deployed him and I think the only thing else I had on the plane on the front was of course the uh, 2200 milliamp battery and the uh, FPV gear now the other the other thing you gotta watch out for too is as soon as you deploy him you're all of a sudden gonna become a little bit lighter in the tail so you have to make a elevator adjustment but it was it was really subtle. It was easy enough to quickly compensate for. I mean, nothing drastic, I would say. So, pretty good. Um, obviously, I'll probably have to put the cargo plane on my to-build list because I have uh, some more ideas of some fun things to do with these parachute guys. And like I said, as long as it's a, a light and a small chute, the Exxon can be a uh, parachute deployment as well. So that was really a lot of fun. And uh, got some video of it here. That's our first parachute man right there at the top of that tree. And he's up there. A little bit. Kinda high. 
Okay, he's not coming down.